The latest release of AutoCAD has really kicked up the IQ for center marks and center lines by adding in associativity. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I want to create a center line between these two objects right here. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the annotate tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go to center line and very simply, I'm gonna go ahead and select the two objects that I was talking about, right? Okay, that was easy enough. So this is where the higher IQ comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of the objects that I used to create the center line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and modify that object. Now watch as the center line moves along with it. So as I edit the object, the center line is gonna automatically know that it needs to be edited as well. It needs to move right along with it. And that is going to save you time. I love that higher IQ. I also love how easy it is to edit the grips on these new smarter, more intelligent center lines. How easy is that, right? Okay, so that was so much fun. I'm kind of feeling the need to do another center line <laughs> because it was so easy. Let's do one more center line. Go ahead and select these two objects right here. Very easy. And then I'm going to use those great grips just to pull that out. All right. Very easy. What about center marks? I mentioned to you that center marks are also smarter. All right, let's do a center mark. I'll go ahead and grab the outermost circle here. And look, how easy was that? A center mark. Um, I would like to point out the center mark repeats. Center line does not. Um, in order to get out, I'm going to do an escape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this circle over to show you that it is associative. The center mark will stay with the circle. And if I change the size of the circle in any way, the center mark is smart and it knows that it needs to adapt accordingly. All right, so how do I control the various aspects of that center mark? Maybe I wanna change the, um, the cross size or the gap or something like that. Easy enough, go ahead and select the center mark or the center line, whichever the case is, and then go over to properties and you will see that you have a lot of options in here so you can make modifications accordingly, cross size, cross gap, etc. Or if you like to type or if you wanna put it into a script file, if you type in center, you will find all kinds of options for all different aspects of your center marks and center lines, all right? And you'll also see in here that there is a center disassociate command if for some reason you want to lower the IQ, put it back to the way it used to be. Why would you wanna do that? But as usual, if that's what you wanna do, we make it easier for you to do that. And of course, you will also see there's a center reassociate command. So after you dumb it down, you can bring it right back up. <laughs> okay, so I think that you're gonna find the new center marks and center lines inside of the latest release of AutoCAD are gonna make your AutoCAD just so much smarter and help you get your jobs done so much faster.